when it comes to musical literacy and the, the whole theoretics of music, it has to be presented in, a, in a, an interesting and beautifully simple way, which is what that system has. Young children can use this and understand it. I think that's brilliant that they can do what I'm doing for my A-level coursework. The Tobin music system is one of the most imaginative approaches to the teaching and learning of the language of music. One thing I've noticed is that children are children wherever you go. And the same things appertain. They love colour, they love humour, they, they just love music, in fact. This video shows how all children could be musically literate by the age of eight. There are six main steps leading to children being able to compose. Every lesson contains movement, oral and practical music making. Reading and playing from notation. Note lengths, rhythm and time signatures. Traditional notation learning notes across the stave, scales, chords and melody notes, composing music. All of the music that you're going to hear is composed by the children themselves and they've only been learning for a few weeks. A big worry that I've always had as a music teacher is that a huge number of pupils leave school and they still can't read or write music. Upon meeting Candida 18 months ago and seeing her with her six-year-olds, I was astounded to see them using harmony. They could compose music with a real understanding of chords, cadences, passing notes, auxiliary notes, and they were reading and writing music fluently. All children could read and write music successfully if this system were implemented. The system has had such a positive effect on the children and the staff in my school. People are commenting to me that the children have a really good understanding of their alphabet, their fractions and many other key skills are developed such as coordination and cognitive thinking. What I've noticed about music is that the children are very focused and very enthusiastic and there's a very clear, to me, progression from the youngest children through to the oldest in what they're learning. I've noticed that the children seem much more aware of music, they seem aware of music terminology. When we're singing, they understand terms that even I don't understand um, and they use them appropriately. Even the youngest children, by writing music shorthand, can be playing simple rhythms by the end of a half-hour session. This could be the children's first writing lesson in their first week at school. It teaches them to write from left to right, to write from the top of the letter to the bottom, to write with a flow. So one child could hand their writing to another, and this other child could then read what's been written, so the children get an idea of what reading and writing is all about. I've noticed they're very enthusiastic about going to music. They're quite happy and to, to, to do everything. And when you actually talk to them about what they're doing, they can tell you so much about what they're learning and what's helping them. So choose your, your colour that you would like to begin with. Okay, can I see you have your crayon ready? Off we go. By saying the word ta and tate, their lips are in the right position for playing the recorder. There is a great deal of content in this one lesson. It also shows the power of using colour. You wouldn't be able to get a class to do this exercise if they just used pencils or even just coloured pencils. The large, fat, wax crayons they're using helps them to write freely. Straighten these heads out here, it's still Tarte. By using rhythm shapes and French time names, the children learn the lengths of notes. That is E, that is also E, that is G, 
and that is also G. And you know those because of your pyramid game, okay? So well, I first became involved with Candida and her Tobin system with um, a presentation on film of her work with me presenting, working with two children. Uh, the system was brilliant as far as I was concerned as a musician and composer because at that time in the 70s when I first started working with Candida, uh, I was presenter of children's music and I wrote a lot of children's music which has since gone all around the world. And so understanding children through film, television and theatre, I realised the significance of the entertainment value, the educational value of this system and wish you know, to my chagrin, I wish I had had the same benefit of Candida's Tovern system when I was at school. The fact that a child can be entertained through learning a music literacy is a godsend. I was musically illiterate as a child because it was so badly presented. This is a system that for children of all ages, of all ages, can grasp, enjoy and and unite as either a team or as a solo individual. That's what's beautiful about it. This is the children's second lesson. This time it could be taken as a maths lesson, for example. You can see how readily they take to the concept of a whole shape, a half, a quarter, even an eighth. And let's see if you know which note is which? Can you all pick up the eighth notes? Please hold up the twins. The twins. What do they say? Excellent. You don't even need four. We mustn't forget that we're dealing with children. And so I try to bring humour into things as much as possible. At each new topic, I bring in something that will make a child smile or laugh. Because once a child smiles, then you, you have won that child over. For instance, when they're talking about note lengths, I bring in the family of notes. And there is Grandpa yawning away. And there is poor old Mummy walking along with her shopping basket. And let the children laugh about it. And now I want you to do a little step and go, ta ah, ta ah. Ta 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 Fit into the whole oh, no. Very good. Okay, now I would like you to clap and say that. Another feature of the system is that the truth is told from the beginning. That's why the children are immediately informed that music is written on 11 lines. Because when a child starts to learn the piano, it's always confusing to find there's another set of five lines. To show the location of the five lines used by various orchestral instruments is easy to explain. In this lesson, the children also write notes on lines and spaces, so this could be taken as another writing lesson. Yes or no, what do you think? No. Right. What's happened to the one we've rubbed out? Matthew? It's a um, magic C. It's a magic one, you're right, it's C. Because when I drew it, 
draw that, we're going to say ha ha. A little bit to the In music, when we say a note is written on a line, we mean that the line goes through the centre of that note, not as in writing when the letter sits on the line. All through the system, the children are taught to listen, and the oral side of their music training is certainly not neglected. to the colour, James. Getting deeper. It's getting deeper. And let's say this is a yellow note, just like this paper. If I play this one, what's happening to the sound? It's getting, Kirsty? Higher. Higher. And the paper's getting lighter. lighter. Okay. One of the great things uh, about uh, the Candida Tobin music system is that the music theory, the music literacy, is taught in an imaginative way. It's very approachable both for the young people and also for the teachers who are delivering and leading the sessions. One of its greatest strengths, I would say, is that it's very much focused on, uh, on the young people and where they're at. So it doesn't matter if you're starting from scratch, if you've not done any music at all, or if you're already playing an instrument, you can start on the music literacy through this Tobin system. What do you notice about two of those legs, Lucy? They're exactly the same. The children learn the colours of each of the alphabetically named notes and their whereabouts on the great stage. Three, four, five, six, seven. We've used all seven letters, so the next one has to be C. This lesson's taken at a good speed. That's so the children don't lose their concentration. Colour keeps the children's attention because colour has a sort of mesmerising effect. It keeps their interest. An octave, good girl, that's excellent. Mnemonics are used to help the children name all the notes in the spaces across the great state. This is so much better than eating good bread, dear father, because the children can go straight onto the note. They don't have to count up to it. Very much. So he picked her some purple daisies. A long came a little green Bee. and sat on the purple daisies. Excellent. Tommy thought about lunchtime. Mm. He was thinking about eating his orange with some yellow custard. And he was very happy because there was a blue sky. Very good. So we should know those colours and those letters really well. So I'm going to put the, the whiteboard on now. Well, so which clef is for the high sounds, everybody? G. And for the low sounds? A. Very good. And you know that we can put a little bit of what colour there in the middle of him? What can we put to help us, Lauren? Red. Excellent. So we'll put him a tummy button on. And what, what colour can we put on that F line there to help us remember where that note is? Kirsty? Brown. Excellent. What's the next one, Lizzie? Green Bay. Lovely. Glenn? Sue. No. Good. Yellow Sue. Lovely. Let's count how many notes there are. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. How far have I travelled from that G to that G? George? <coughs> Good boy, you travelled an octave. So I like... Colour has an almost magnetic power. I remember once I was giving a series of lectures in Cambridge. I just worked in white chalk and on the blackboard. And actually, I had been in it earlier. I had done the whole thing in colour on the other side of the blackboard and turned it round. It was one of the sort of blackboards that you just can uh, just turn round, uh, swivel it. And so we'd finished this diagram that we've been working on and they were all being very good and doing their work properly when I suddenly turned the blackboard over and it was in full colour. The whole room moved forward at least three inches and then they realised what I'd done and roared with laughter. And I said to them, that is the power of colour. And yes, I have been in here earlier and I got this ready for you. So you could see how colour affects your teaching. 
Okay, close your eyes and say those colours from the bottom. Blue, yellow, orange, red. Okay, now do them backwards. Red, orange, yellow, blue. Excellent. Now, where do we think we are in the circle? The children quickly learn the colours of the letters and it enables them to focus in on where notes are and also to understand harmony at a much earlier age than previously thought possible. So you've got to have those colours in your head. So close your eyes and say those colours forwards. Green, purple, brown. Lovely, now backwards. Brown, purple, green. Excellent. Now, if we look, we've got the pyramid again, the seaside picture at the top here. What line does it sit on? James. The G line. The G line. Oh, we know that's the G line because this is called the G. Yeah. I'll put a little bit of tummy button there. Okay, so we know that. Now, instead of telling me the colours, I'd like you to all tell me the letters from the bottom to the top. Off you go. I C E G B D E F I C E G. If you can make a connection. Uh, with every single child, uh, whether you're teaching them individually or with every child in a group, um, if you can do that, you've, uh, you'll be able to communicate, you'll be able to exchange ideas, you'll be able to get them involved, gain their interest. And once you've got that, they will then start to, to push uh, themselves, you know, they, they'll start taking things forward. Right, children, I'm going to draw some notes in the spaces now and see if you can tell me which one is which. Lizzie, what note is that one? A. Excellent. <coughs> what note is that one, Alec? G. Excellent, super. Let's see if he's right. Yes, lovely. Lauren, what colour do I need to make the E? Orange. As an experienced musician, I was unsure about the use of colour in the system, Yellow. but having used the system for just over a year, the what psychological benefits of colour D have D really D made me realise that it's a crucial part to the children's learning and understanding. Can somebody tell me what this is? You know it is do, re, mi, fa, so, la, ti, do. Put your hand up and tell me what we call that. Laura. By putting the scale into a round, children can find the three major and minor chords of any key. And from that scale, the scale is like the artist's palette. Where the artist uses the palette to paint a picture, the musician uses the scale to find the notes for both the melody and harmony. With the red G at the top. G major. It is. Excellent. So we have our F sharp in there to make it G major. OK. Who can tell me how I find the most important chord? And we're going to start with the most important note. So, Alex, can you tell me how to find the most important chord? You get the G. And then you go to the B, you miss one out, and then you miss another one out. And so where will I go next? To the D. Excellent. So our most important chord is going to be our G major chord, G, B, D. What letter is going to be at the bottom of the next chord, Jake? Mm. E. Excellent. So I'll uncover that one. OK. Um, Josh, can you tell us what notes are in the next chord? F. And there we go. Now this chord is allowed an extra note. It's not quite, not as important as this chord. So with it being a bit jealous, we let it have an extra note. Okay. What do we call that chord, Louisa? G7, because its seventh note is, I mean, its fourth note is seven notes away from, from the D. Excellent. So what do we call it, Louisa? D7. Excellent. What do we call this chord here? What do we call that one, Lewis? G. Very good. The chord of G, and this would be the chord of D, but we've added... This way of finding the chords can be used at any stage because by putting the notes from any scale in a circle, the chords can be found in just the same way. Here we see the children play a movement game where they're finding the three chords and hearing them as they play the game. I think the Toby music system enhances other areas of learning in lots of ways. 
First of all, there's a lot of talking, there's a lot of listening, and it's something that school thinks is very important, so that we, we're really encouraging the children to speak all the time and to talk about what they've learned and what they know. Very good. I first had the challenge of doing a composition when I was at GCSE, and I thought, oh my goodness, I have no idea where to start. And my teacher just said to me, oh, it's just fine, you just sit down at the piano, you start playing, and it sounds great. And I thought, I can't do that, it doesn't make any sense at all. I don't know what to do. And then I started working here, and um, I saw their structure, and, and suddenly thought, oh, actually, that does sound good, and it does work, and I can use this, and it, it fits, and I can use it for A-level stuff. It's, it's really helped me, and now I can compose music. The notation ruler measures all musical measurements. Tones, semitones, tetrachords, scales, intervals and chords, major, minor, augmented and diminished. It can be used by both primary and secondary school children for a huge range of fascinating activities. It is an invaluable tool. Put your finger on a D and can you go down the semitone? What note do we get to? C sharp. Super. And can you put your finger on F? And which note is down a tone? D sharp. Excellent. Lovely. Well done. What about the next bar? We've got the F sharp and A. So which chord is going to fit with that bar? Megan. D7. Lovely. What about the next bar? You've only got blue A's. What about that bar, Matthew? D7. That's right, we're still sticking on D7. So I want you, with your chime bars, hand chimes, to play four chord notes for each chord. One, two, three, four. with that so that we can hear the melody played with everybody else doing the harmony. Okay, so nice and steady. One, two, three, four. Using your primary chords, finding those, colouring the notes at the top to help you draw them in the right places. And I want you to do me a piece in ternary form where we get A section, A section, and then the third By using a template, the children learn how to write a 16 bar composition in ternary form using major and minor chords, passing notes, and cadences. Bear in mind, this is only the second composition these children have written. Harmony is just that, matching chords to the notes of a melody. Even the very youngest can do this. Composition is similar to the harmony lesson, except it's in reverse. The children have now reached the point where they can learn to compose. In just a few steps, they get to the point of writing music in ternary form of 16 bars duration, using major and minor chord, cadences and passing notes. This video has shown how all children could be musically literate by the age of eight. So here we are in G major, let's hear your composition. sensory approach to teaching, it's kinesthetic, the children are doing things all the time, they're listening so it's auditory and it's visual, there's lots to look at. So all of those things impact on all their learning right across the curriculum. 
It hasn't been costly to implement the system into my school. All you need are pitch percussion instruments and lots of colours. The Tobin Music System is a well-structured scheme using colours and patterns to clarify every music concept. Progress is extraordinarily rapid and if this scheme is started at infant school, the children will be composing tunes like these by the time they're seven or eight years of age. I was teaching it to a six-year-old yesterday and she understood it and her face lit up. I was like, wow, you could do this. I thought that you'd have to wait until you're at least kind of 20 to compose a piece of music. I'm a great fan of uh, Candida's and, and the system. It has won me over uh, and I sincerely hope uh, that uh, she and her team will have great success in encouraging the take-up of this because I really believe, quite genuinely, that it will open the world of music to many, many young people. This system has been on the periphery for far, far too long. It's time it was usurped and put into use in our educative system. <laughs>